rheumatic diseases of childhood are systemic disorders in which many different organs and systems can be involved with different levels of severity. Joints, for example, are frequently involved in juvenile idiopathic arthritis, while skin, kidney or central nervous system are often involved in systemic lupus erythematosus, which is the prototype of autoimmune disorders at whatever age. The pathogenesis of uh, rheumatic diseases is still uh, partially understood, though uh, it is thought to be depending on the specific disorder, autoimmune or autoinflammatory. Autoimmune means that abnormalities in adaptive immunity lead to uh, an immune response against the self. Autoinflammatory means that abnormalities in the regulation of the inflammatory process result in chronic inflammation. There is no uh, single sign or specific symptom that uh, can uh, reveal any of the rheumatic diseases of childhood. Therefore, diagnosis is uh, mainly clinical, suggested by uh, peculiar patient's history, uh, clinical features, laboratory investigation and imaging, which need to be consistent with the suspected disease. There are great efforts to coordinate and foster international collaboration and uh, multicenter clinical trials for the management of children and adolescents with uh, uh, rheumatic diseases. Uh, with, the, with the aim of using a new class of drugs called biologicals, in the sense that they are directed towards molecules which are directly involved in the, in the bi biologic process of the disease. Um, the most recent research area is addressed at uh, focusing the abnormalities in, uh, in, in adaptive immunity for the definition of pathogenesis of autoimmune disorders. However, in the last decade, a new area of pediatric rheumatology has been dedicated to the autoinflammation. And many international registries are in progress um, trying to help uh, clinicians, pediatricians, internists in the uh, diagnostic definition of these uh, conditions with the aim of uh, increasing our basic knowledge of this uh, new area of human pathology.